Greeting everyone and welcome to this educational channel. Today we are going to learn how to construct a control chart. But before that, let's understand what is a control chart. Control chart is a graph that describes a process that is changing over time. And why we need to do that? Because we need to monitor that process for any change that happen as a result of human, as a result of instrument error, or any type of errors. And according to that, we can apply a preventive and corrective actions before things getting worse. Now, I have here the two main elements that play a big role in constructing the control chart. Now, you can refer to the previous videos to understand how to calculate those two terms okay now i'm going to show you how to do the calculation in here so i will start with the mean equal sign and i have already the mean being calculated in here and press f4 to lock the cell press enter and you get the data then come to here and double click to reflect all this in all the cells the next one we're going to do the upper warning limit again equal sign to the main plus two times the standard deviation which is this one and close the bracket and have f4 in here to lock the cell enter again double click to get this one the next one is the lower warning limit equal sign the main minus two times the standard deviation close it f4 and enter the next one is the upper control limit equal sign equal sign the mean plus three times the standard deviation close it and enter the last one is the lower control limit equal sign the main minus three times the standard deviation locked it and enter and here we go now I have all my data ready to construct my control chart I will select this data and I can go to this line in here or I can go to this side and choose from this one most and I will choose the line in here I press OK then you have already your control chart ready in here all you need to do is modify this one I can remove this one in here also I can remove this one I don't need it now if I want to modify this one I will just press double click in this line and choose the last point in here and right click and go to add data label and you can change what is inside this one equal sign and this is my upper control limit press this one then enter it will gonna reflect in here go to the next one again choose this one the last point and again right click do the same for all of them equal sign and this is upper warning limit and press enter and it's gonna reflect to the next one do the same for all of those measurements in here and I'm gonna show you at the end my last or final uh, control chart okay now I have set it my data 
in this table and I have already completed my control chart now I'm gonna explain what is happening in this chart now any data that fall in between those two line in here or the or those two line in here those data are set to be in the warning limit any data that fall in this area is still accepted data any data that fall above this line or below this line are not good data and it is out of control and this required to change your um, measurement your calibration or your control sample or whatever you you are doing now if I want to change one of those data and see how it reflect in the control chart let's say for example I will change this one and I will try to put it somewhere uh, above the control limit like 16 or 17 let's see 16 and press enter I'm gonna see it in here it's already exceeding the line which is the upper control limit here now I know that I have a problem with my measurement now I need to take a corrective action in this one I hope the lesson of today is clear thank you very much for watching this see you in the next one